And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome United States Senator Rick Scott of Florida. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can tell I'm from the great state of Florida. Well, the Democrats couldn't stop him. The media couldn't stop him. The liberal judges couldn't stop him. A bullet from a man man couldn't stop him. Can anything stop Donald Trump from becoming the next president and making America great again. I've known Donald since before each of us ran for office, and it's an honor to be here to do everything I can to get him reelected back in the White House where he should belong every day going forward. Now, like all of you, I'm blessed. I was born to a single mom. I grew up in public housing. I started working at the age of seven. I enlisted in the U.S. Navy at the age of 18. Go Navy. But only because I grew up in America, I was able, like many of you, to come from absolutely nothing to build one of the biggest companies in the world, be the 45th governor of Florida, a U.S. senator, where we have to fight every day to stop the radical Democrats from absolutely destroying our great country. They will lose, we will win. USA, USA. We will win. Now, let me tell you about a dream I had recently. I had a dream and I did some time traveling. I, 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 I traveled into the future to an imaginary world where actually Joe Biden got reelected. Yeah. So, remember the Christmas Carol, the ghost of Christmas past? Well, in my dream, I met the ghost of Biden future. So I got to see a Biden second term. Now, it wasn't a dream, it was a nightmare. Mortgage rates skyrocketed to 15%. Only rich people could buy groceries. Gas was $10 a gallon. In my nightmare, Biden and the Democrats erased our southern border and flew so many illegals into our country that the Mexican cartel started getting frequent flyer miles. It was easy for Democrats to rig the elections. They simply allowed all the non-citizens to vote. America did nothing to protect Israel from terrorists or to stop China from invading Taiwan. Now, do any of you think this is far-fetched? No. If you do, you haven't been following it. Biden and the Democrats are doing everything they can to tear down this great country and rebuild it in their woke, radical image. Their dream's not new. It's an old, evil idea that has failed every time it's been tried. It's called socialism. And Donald J. Trump will not let socialism happen in this country. Think about it. Under Trump, we had a booming economy. We weren't at war. Our enemies feared us. Our allies respected us. We had a secure border. Inflation and mortgage rates were low. And families had money in the bank. <laughs> Donald Trump has given up a lot for this country. His family's been slandered. He's been impeached, censored, treated as a criminal, all because he never backs down.
This week, he's shown the courage all of us should display as we rally around him to rescue our great country. So let's fight, 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 and make sure Donald Trump gets reelected. Have a great night. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, 